So, why would governments actually regulate incorporation? We know from the early discussion of the creation of a company, uh, the rationale for companies, why governments have, became more comfortable over time with the idea not only of the company, but of the limited liability company. And to recap, because of the greater efficiency they provided in terms of organising risky business endeavours because they could share risk and they created incentives for entrepreneurship that people could create a business and then because of the separation of ownership and control of operations they could sell the, sell the business on and move on to creating another business for example. So an incentive to entrepreneurship. We get those things. But given that, why would they want to continue to be involved very much in writing complex corporations law, which talks about the act of incorporation and what corporate entities can do? Well, obviously, given the sheer size of companies uh, in the economy and society at large, you're always going to be concerned about how companies are conducting themselves. But there are particular reasons in, that we can uh, reduce to several categories why governments routinely regulate uh, incorporation. One of them is simply efficiency. That if we have standard corporate structures with uh, corporations law, which creates similar obligations, expectations, and things like reporting requirements and whatnot, uh, then that's efficient, uh, efficient from the point of everyone in working in uh, a capitalist system that they know exactly what a corporate entity needs to be like organizationally, legally, and so effectively the creation of multiple legal entities of the company is quite simple. So you see a huge number of lawyers who are specialized in, in corporate law and can advise companies very quickly in how to create the company and all of those aspects of uh, the governance of, an, of a company. And so the lessons from one industry, from one firm, transfer across to another. Now, that also has huge benefits in terms of accountability. It means that uh, people who are dealing with companies, potential investors, employees, regulators, every stakeholder in a company, can relatively easily make sense of what the company's purposes are, uh, hopefully, with things like common accounting standards, it can f people can fairly quickly make sense of the financial state of a company. Now, you can imagine that many managers in companies would prefer not to have that kind of accountability. And we've seen many scandals in Japan and every other country when companies haven't done the right thing in terms of things like reporting losses and, and whatnot. So we see that there are very significant uh, efficiency reasons for doing this and very significant accountability reasons. And then in broader issues of responsibility that we understand in terms of, of accountability, very specifically the stakeholders. But it also emphasizes to everyone involved in the running of companies that the private governance of the company sits in a broader context of public governance, that while their primary uh, goal may be maximizing profits for shareholders, and that is the logic of a company and the capitalist system, that it is part of a broader set of public uh, governance practices and the very existence of the company owes uh, itself to this public governance of the incorporation process. And so therefore it has to very much abide, the managers have to abide, with those public interest rationales, uh, which are the basis for governments allowing companies to come into existence in the first place.